Reward the best, ignore the rest. Here's why I would never give you that kind of advice and why rewards-based systems tend to make behavior worse in the long run. Every once in a while, they make behavior better in the short term, and that really reinforces parents because it's like, oh, well, that worked to get them to do the thing, but what it didn't do was teach them how to manage their regulation and how to show up organically and do the things that they need to do. The other thing with reward systems is that for our kids who are struggling, like let's say you have two siblings and sibling A is the one that really needs the reward system because it can never do it and sibling B doesn't really need it but you put it on both kids to make it fair. Now for sibling B it's probably gonna be really really easy and they're gonna quickly stack up the rewards but for sibling A now here's just another thing to fail at. And that sucks that doesn't encourage or nurture or cooperation it encourages like well whatever I just don't even care whatever that kind of attitude. Lastly you never want to ignore a child Attend to what matters, yes. Um, ignore, no. So when you ignore your child, you step out of the co-regulated exchange and you're like, I'm out. I'm not gonna help you with this any further. Um, I'm not gonna support you through this. I'm not gonna help you cooperate, I'm done. Um, and that is gonna reinforce the negative behavior. It's not pro-social. It doesn't help your child learn what to do. Um, when you attend to what matters, instead of ignoring, you're attending at, at the core to your child's regulation. Right? And so when you pay attention to the regulation, you may have to let go of like provocative words or that kind of stuff in order to privilege regulation, right? When you do that, you're helping your child get into a ready state to follow your direction, to follow your leadership, to go with you. So reward the best, ignore the rest. I would toss that in favor of something more like connection before correction, direction, or instruction. Okay, now you're priming yourself to get in relationship with your child before you tell them what to do, before you offer a correction, before you do any teaching. That's what matters. That's how you get kids to connect and stay with you and follow you.